What's up, Aries? It's your girl, Ivy Ladone, your fitness mystic. And today we're going to dive in and see what it is that you are transforming in the month of July 2024. My friends, if you're into these kinds of videos, I ask that you please give this a like so that I know that you do like it and I will make more. Also, one of you may be eligible to receive a free reading at the end of these readings if you do three things. You have three things, not four. You have to make sure that you're following this channel. You have to like this video and you have to leave your name below so that way I can shout you out. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and get started. Highest vibrational messages for my friends, Aries, as a collective sign. What is Aries transforming in the month of July, 2024? Thank you for these messages, spirit. All right, I just got a nice little chill on my left side here. Just to guess confirmation. Ooh, all right. Any other messages that wanna come through? That was pretty clear. All right. <laughs> okay. Message is like right there. All right, Aries. So because based off of this, um, I know that you're getting this kind of like in the mid-July area time frame. Um, well, at least when I'm uploading this. But I just want to ask how you're doing. Or how are you feeling? Um, yeah, you can keep that to yourself, of course. Um, also, you can share that down below in the comments this is a safe space uh by you doing that number one you create and cultivate community yes but two you let other aries around know like hey it's okay to feel this way i'm with you you're not alone and we're in this together um so i just want to not that anything is bad but it does show here that you are feeling the feels in the month of July 2024. Let's get deeper and understand maybe what it is that's transforming or what's moving and evolving in your being, in your body. So Aries, in no particular order, just in the way that I flip them and I'm going to show them to you. Uh, but the first card I'm showing you is number 13, feeling the world. Take what resonates, leave the rest, but this is a sacral energy card. Number 13 is a divine feminine energy number. Uh, basically, it's, it's like a higher wisdom perspective frequency of feminine energy, which is like, you know, uh, emotional intelligence, nurturing, magnetic, pulling in, introspective. Um, the sacral energy is located two inches below your belly button, and that area is about like your, your emotional intelligence and creativity and also I would say it's a little bit about your sensuality, but your sexuality more than anything. Your sexuality in the way that you come forward unapo unapologetically in your way of being, you know? Um, yeah, no title, just, right? Uh, creating, being, expressing, so to speak. And that's uh, connection to self. So like sexual, yes, but not like in a perverted way, just like... I am me and I love all of me and here I am, that kind of energy. Um, this card is about feeling the world. So this is a very empathic card, Aries. This is a card about like you quite literally feeling the world. This is just you feeling overwhelmed, like uh, feeling emotions that perhaps you have held on to for a long time. This could also mean, you know, things that you're feeling that you may not even know are related to you or not. It could be someone else's situation, but you're just feeling a lot of it. Um, you know, you just feel it all. You're feeling that person's problems and you're feeling the dogs and you're feeling the news and you're feeling yourself and then you're, you know, it's just a lot of energetics in that way, emotional energy. Um, hold on to that thought. We're going to continue as we go into the next card because there's more that I want to say, but I want to correlate it to the reading. So the next card I'm showing you is number 32, quieting the mind. Now this is a throat chakra card. The throat chakra is located in the throat area and it is about the throat chakra is about like your form of expression and it's correlated to how authentic you know yourself so therefore how authentic you are in expressing yourself a lot of us can just be and express ourselves but the question there is how honest are you being in that moment meaning how honest are you being to yourself with yourself and therefore also with others right now putting a filter or a facade so to speak um, because it's that form of authenticity and expression, expression also in your communication style, the way that you speak to others, but also the way that you speak to yourself. 
big time with this card. Also how you're listening to others, but also how you're listening to yourself. Big time with this card. So this card is about you going inward, quite literally, which I know for you, typically Aries, you might be like, what the, uh, like, okay, but like, can we, is there, is there an express version of this? Is there like a drive through version? Like, let's go. I got shit to do. I got people to see. I got things to accomplish. Come on. Well, then if that's how you're feeling and if that's, if that resonates, like what I just said with you, this might be a little bit of a challenge in July, just because what is required of you in July for that transformation, what's happening, I'll explain what's happening, but essentially what you're being asked to do is to like slow down the pace, get really in tune to your feelings and the only way you're going to get in tune with your feelings is if you actually slow down. I know that's not what you want to hear. And I know that that's not how you feel, you know, great, great, because you're, you're Aries. Like you just, you're the head, you go, woo, no thinking, let's go. So, or maybe we thought about it, but like, we know we want to do that. So go, you see, like, it's just moving. So for you this month, it's like, you ha you're feeling a lot and you might not even really understand or understand overtly what is going on in your world. Your world does not just consist of like what you're seeing play out. What you're seeing play out is actually also mixed in with what you are feeling inside. Because whatever you're feeling inside is going to penetrate through your being and that is how you are going to feel and therefore that is how you are going to then show up in the world for yourself and for others so it is very important to take pause or slow down to better understand what you are doing where you are going and what is happening or what is processing in your life right now i saw 707 or 77 on the screen take what resonates leave the rest numbers here uh frequency wise divine feminine energy so you know this is a big push for you and assistance for you to lean into that higher aspect of feminine energy which is emotions which is introspection which is slowing down which is more nurturing of yourself um no one has to nurture you you don't need like someone to take care of you and be like oh aries are you okay you know i don't even think you would appreciate that i think you're gonna be like uh so this is a chance actually to learn to manage how you can mother yourself you know in this case scenario what does a mother do for you right in 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 the role of a mother not saying that if you had one or didn't this is not about that it's like what does the role of a mother play and in this case it's like asking you to like lean into being that persona for yourself throughout this time number 32 is a five five in the frequency is communication sometimes a little combative just because it deals with groups group energy but because this is quieting the mind and i'm thinking groups and communication i'm thinking there's groups of thoughts form of thoughts group groups of ideology or perceptions or programs and beliefs all of that there's a there's a, like groups of them in your brain in your mind right in your cloud let's say and what this is asking you to do is like have a conversation with yourself inside and start to decipher like whoa that's not my thinking where did i pick that up from i don't know i don't care i just don't want it uh that's interesting that in there see that is part of my programming from when i was a kid because my mom and then that do you see what i'm doing so like going inward and kind of just like cleaning house quiet yourself so that way this and this gets louder even if it's uncomfortable it's helpful and it is the way inward is the way you hold the key it might be challenging but you hold the key within last thing i want to say i was going to say final push because i'm an instructor fitness instructor too but almost final push last card i want to show you is number 44 the bottom of the deck is divine matrix this is Oh my God, gorgeous. Divine Matrix is a crown chakra card. So this is about your, your spirituality. All of this that we just spoke about is actually contributing to your spirituality. It's contributing to your relationship to this life, to this reality, to this experience that you're having. So at the very core of it, this is giving back to your, your why, like your reason, your purpose, you know, and you're seeing how everything is interconnected, so to speak once you do the quieting i have to say that 
okay? Four and four here is an, em an emphasis of the number four, which is double whammy. Four is the foundation number, a frequency of like placing, you know, placing the bricks down or clearing the cement and putting the bricks for the house. Like that's what four is. If you do that two times, it's like multifold. You're getting an eight. So that goes into a karmic number, infinite number. So there's like foundations that are being laid that are gonna be forever involved in your past, present, and future. And if you're like, how does something now affect my past? Well, because you hold memories, you hold experiences, you hold programs. So that's the past. And when you work something now that's fixing that, then that means that something in the past goes in the now moment and therefore what you were holding from the past alchemizes or transmutes and changes so whatever that was that you're holding from the past also begins to change in the now and whatever that was that was creating you that you were held on holding on to from the program that now has changed so imagine what that alchemization is doing from changing just or shifting your perspective on something how that affects a past and then how the past changing that can affect the future. Do you see where I'm going with all this? It's quantum. If it's a little woo, I feel you. I understand. <laughs> Backtracking though, what I would recommend for you is your fitness mystic Aries. <laughs> well, you have quieting the mind and you have sacral energy. So we're talking feminine energy and we're talking like finding a way to quiet down. Well, I would recommend for you to find a practice for yourself that would include silence and that would include maybe perhaps journaling or it could be also meditating or it could also be like, you know, speaking into a voice message machine. There are different levels of this. We are all different. Some of us cannot sit down and just sit there allowing the thoughts to come in and out. That can be very intimidating or uncomfortable for some of us. And maybe some of us can do it, but we can do it all the time. So find what your pace is and what you're, you know, what, what, what's going to help you in that moment most, most authentically. And that way you can start to quiet all of those excess emotions or unlooked at thoughts or un felt feelings right so this is very important for you for this month find something that you can journal your feelings and thoughts in or find a note in your phone that you can start to do that for this month or start to voice message yourself like in the voice notes messaging memos do that for yourself this month to open up to listen to yourself or consider taking an intuitive stretch class an intuitive stretch class is a practice that I created for the person who is looking to ground their energy and kind of meditate, but without having to sit still. So it's a meditation in motion through stretching, through breath work, uh, through an oracle reading as well. So if that's something that you're into, take a look at the description box below because I do have a link there for you to just click to. It'll take you straight to the YouTube channel. If you want to work with me one to one, of course, let's do that. Just message me here comment below or you can send me a direct uh email hello at fitnessmystichq at gmail.com other than that my friends thank you so much for watching maybe send this to another aries that you think uh, may appreciate this and good luck happy transformation you got this bye